hello everyone welcome back to our youtube channel let's grow so today in this video we are going to discuss about the types of spillways so in the beginning we will discuss that what is the spillway so a spillway is a hydraulic structure built at a dam site for diverting the surplus water from a reservoir after it has been filled to its maximum capacity so this is the dam and in the upstream of this dam there is a reservoir so whenever the water comes from the upstream and the water level of the reservoir increases and the time when the water level of reservoir reaches up to the normal pool level whatever excessive water is coming that will be released from the spillways so these structure which are constructed uh, in dam is is called as spillways and uh, these are used to divert the surplus water from the reservoir uh, whenever the maximum capacity of the reservoir is fulfilled so spillways are classified into different types on the basis of the arrangement of the control structure a conveyance channel and a terminal structure so types of spillways so there are different types of spillways which are enlisted here the first one is straight drop spillway second is ogee spillway third is shaft spillway fourth is shoot spillway fifth one is uh, side channel spillway and sixth is siphon spillway seventh one is labyrinth spillway so we are going to discuss one by one about these spillway the first one is straight drop spillway so a straight drop spillway consists of low height weir wall having its downstream face roughly or perfectly vertical so here in this image you can see a low height weir which is constructed like this and when the water level in the reservoir rises above the normal pool level the surplus water falls freely from the crest of the weir and hence it is known as straight drop spillway or free overfall spillway so this is a simplest type of spillway in which you are providing a vertical wall or what you can say it is a weir of low height and whenever the water uh, in the upstream exceeded the normal pool level whatever excessive water is coming will start to fall from this uh, spillway and uh, this is called as the straight drop spillway or sometimes it is called as free overfall spillway because water is falling freely also in the downstream you can see there is a problem of erosion whenever this water falls freely so you can make a apron or a secondary dam also in the downstream to prevent the erosion second spillway is oge spillway oge spillway as the name says represents the shape of the downstream face of the weir it is an improved form of a straight drop spillway in this case the downstream face of the weir is constructed corresponding to the shape of lower nappy of freely falling water jet which is in ogi shape so whenever the water fall whatever project tile is uh, traced by this uh, freely fall water uh, it is uh, uh, the same profile we are using in the ogi shape so in ogi shape uh, what we are doing we are provi providing a ogi profile or ogi shape profile which will be similar to the water freely fa falling uh, from this uh, spillway so the ogi shape or ogi profile or the simply the profile of water which is falling from here will be different for the different head 
so this ogi shape or ogi profile is designed for the maximum head so whenever uh, water is discharged at the maximum head whatever profile is stressed by this falling water will be seen as the ogi shape so this is the profile of this ogi shape third one is the shaft spillway a shaft spillway is a type of spillway which consists of a vertical shaft followed by a horizontal conduit the surplus water enters into the vertical shaft and then to the horizontal conduit and finally reaches the downstream of the channel so here in this image you can see a shaft spillway this shaft spillway is provided in the reservoir and this shaft spillway is generally provided when there is no space for the provision of the uh, your og spillway or any other type of sp spillway so if you you don't have the enough space to provide the uh, any other type of spillway you will simply use this shaft spillway so this is a vertical shaft whenever the uh, water exceed this particular level whatever excessive water will come it will go into this shaft and this vertical shaft is later connected to a horizontal shaft or horizontal conduit this horizontal conduit will pass through the dam body or the foundation of the dam from there we we release this excessive water the fourth one is shoot spillway shoot spillway is a type of spillway in which surplus water from upstream is disposed to the downstream through a steeply sloped open channel it is generally constructed at one end of the dam or separately away from the dam in a natural saddle in a bank of the river so this is the picture of shoot spillway in shoot spillway the flow is always super critical so the flow is super critical means the velocity will be higher and there is a large chances of the erosion so a suitable measure or energy dissipator devices are used in case of the shoot spillway these shoot spillways are provided at the uh, bank of your dam on the either side or you can provide it in a natural saddle point if you get uh, if the topography meets that requirement you can provide it in a natural saddle points otherwise you can provide it it at the either ends so this is a picture of the shoot spillway and the slope of this shoot spillway will be very high so that water will go through a high uh, velocity the fifth one is side channel spillway side channel spillway is similar to shoot spillway but the only difference is the crest of the side channel spillway is located on one of its sides whereas crest of shoot spillway is located between the side walls in other words the water spilling from the crest is turned to 90 degrees and flows parallel to the crest of side channel spillway unlike in shoot spillway so this side channel spillway is quite similar to the shoot spillway the only difference is the direction so again if you look at this shoot spillway here this is a dam and this in in the direction of this dam the water is released from the shoot spillway but in case of a side channel spillway the water will flow like this in the direction 90 degree to the direction of this dam or weir so there is a only difference of the direction here in here the direction will be similar to the direction in in which direction we are providing the weir but here the direction will be at the 90 degree the fifth one is uh, this is we so these these two images are quite same this is for the shoot spillway 
this is for the side channel spillway and this is also the side channel spillway so here in this image also you can see this is a arch dam this is a arch dam this is the arch dam and perpendicular to this perpendicular to this water is flowing through from this side so this is a side channel spillway then the next one is the siphon spillway a siphon spillway is a type of spillway in which surplus water is disposed to the downstream through an inverted u-shaped conduit it is generally arranged inside the body or over the crest of the dam so here in this image you can see this is the body of the dam so in this body of the dam we have provided the siphon spillway and then the when when the water level of the reservoir rises due to the siphonic action due to the due to this siphon action water will start to uh, move from the what water will start to flow from upstream to the downstream due to this siphon action here also in this image you can see here we have provided a siphon so water uh, will go from this uh, channel to this uh, siphon and it will flow in the downstream so we we will use the siphon action in this spillway so it is termed as the siphon spillway the next one is labyrinth spillway a labyrinth spillway is a type of spillway in which the weir wall is constructed in a zigzag manner in order to increase the effective length of the weir crest with respect to the channel width this increase in effective length rises the discharge capacity of the weir and hence higher water flow at small heads and can be conveyed to the downstream easily so if you provide a simple weir here it has some limited discharge capacity but if uh, you want to keep the the width or width of this weir same but simultaneously you want to increase the discharge capacity you will use this labyrinth spillway so basically in labyrinth spillway you have provided a zigzag shape so basically uh, in zigzag shape what you are doing you are increasing the effective length of the spillway so here the effective length will be like this so this is the effective length which is increased so now this water can f uh, flow from this increased length and for the same uh, head you will get more discharge in the labyrinth spillway so these are the seven types of spillways which are generally used in rivers or water resources engineering so i hope you understand it very well if you really like this video you can hit that like button you can subscribe our channel let's grow for more informative videos so again thank you so much to watch this lesson till the end okay take care bye bye